Today we are gonna be doing a lot of sanding on this truck. We're gonna get the entire thing sanded down nice and smooth to get ready for paint. So there's gonna be a lot of time lapse in this video because it's gonna be hours and hours of sanding. I am not gonna make a video until this truck is painted. So it might be several weeks before we have a video out to you guys. So that's why it's been so long since we haven't gotten a video out, but this truck will be done by the end of the video. Hopefully it looks good. This is single stage paint. If you haven't seen the other paint videos, this is a $100 paint job that has kind of got out of hand and it's more like a $200 paint job, but still a really good price. This will be single stage paint. I'll show you the products once we get to the booth. Anyways guys, hope you enjoy the video. Let's get into it. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. A tip for you guys, if you're gonna sand down your own ride and paint it, carry around a Sharpie as you're sanding because you wanna mark your highs and low spots and you don't wanna do it after you're done sanding and you've already found them and you gotta find them for a second time. Anyways guys, we're gonna begin sanding on this old truck and we're gonna start out with 80 grit. Let's get into the time lapse. Well, in Missouri here, we got our first few inches of snow. We're just a couple days out from painting. I say we got probably two, three days of sanding. Key Bob's coming to say hi. Come on, Key Bob. Let's get in some shot. Come on. You're letting the heat out. Come on. Get in here, boy. Get in here. Get in here. Ugh. All right, guys, as you can see, we have made some progress on this thing. This primer is actually a sealer primer combined here. So the plan is we're gonna sand down more, completely seal and prime this thing, then come back with 320 grit sandpaper, sand the complete truck down once again, then it should be ready for paint. The plan is the paint in here. We're not gonna put up any plastic or anything. We're just gonna get the shop real clean. Uh, day before, sweep all the floors and then we'll wet them down to keep the dust from coming up and getting on the paint. Hopefully that works out all right. I guess we'll see. As you can see here on this hood, when putting the paint sealer on it, it has been doing some weird stuff as you can see there. So we're hoping we're able to sand this down even more and then put some sealer primer on it, sand it again, 
sealer, primer, sand, blah, 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 until it is nice and smooth and it's not doing this weird stuff here because that is going to look bad with the paint if it does do that. The shop is filled right now, got the boat in here, but let's get busy and get to sanding and hopefully get some paint on this truck here soon. Turn out pretty good. That looks wavy for some reason. Zebra lines. I think it's just the paint though. All right, so we're supposed to have two 60 degree days here in Missouri. So we're gonna try and put paint on this thing now so it has time to cure and it isn't too cold. I gotta go to class, but dad's gonna put some sealer on this thing and it's gonna get painted today. Well guys, I just got out of class at the University of Missouri. I'm heading home. It is a great winter day here in Missouri, January 31st, and it is 64 degrees. Tell me that ain't global warming. But I'm gonna get to the shop. The truck should be ready for paint, and I hope it turns out great. Stay tuned, guys. I'm gonna give you a whole rundown once this thing's done, show you, and maybe by this weekend, We'll get all the parts back together and this thing will be fully restored and ready for one of you guys to buy. It will be for sale. It will be. Need money for the crew cab. So what are you about to do? I wanna seal it. Excuse me. I don't know if your respirator's working. <laughs> you got paint all around your nose. Oh, it looks pretty good right now, I think. You do have some sand scratches in here. Hopefully that doesn't show. All right, for the final paint, I'm gonna use a brand new gun. This is the Harbor Freight Special. A little better than the one that was used for the primer and sealer. Get it together here. It's the purple edition. How much does this one cost? Twenty-eight dollars. Twenty-eight dollars. Fourteen dollars. Ooh, yeah, this is good. Trying to lacquer thinner through it. Yeah, man. Since it's brand new. Tip. Brand new gun. Run lacquer thinner through it. If you haven't seen the other paint videos, this is what it is. It is old school lime green metallic. It does not look that way. <laughs> There's their information if you want to get some not sponsored just figured you guys would ask it's a lot easier if you're helping me i am yeah you are hoping that. moral support hoping that all righty guys this is the last time you'll see this truck looking like this until it's fully painted let's go
All right, so we got a little bit of a predicament here. Uh, we're about a quart shy on paint. Not for sure what we're gonna do about that, but it is looking pretty good. There is some dings here and there that we did miss on the hood, but I mean, for a budget paint job, budget restoration, this thing is looking pretty good. But it's super fumy in there, gonna let it calm down, and we'll show you guys what it looks like. I'm gonna look around and see if it ain't really stuck. I got a little bit of paint left, I can blend a little bit. Hey, you need to get new filters for that thing. Your face is green. <laughs> I don't know, it's looking pretty slick, I think. Don't look too bad at all. Couldn't open that garage door, that's for sure. Open that garage door and it got a little something here and there on the paint. Not the end of the world though. Huh? The top side of that. Right above that lock there. I think it's good enough. It looks pretty good, I think. Same truck. Well, here it is. The paint looks pretty good for the most part. There is some spots here. You can see some sand marks just where it's got a little deeper into the body. But overall, she looks really good. The color looks good. We're going to throw on the wheels here real quick to see what it looks like. And that will probably end up wrapping up this video. And we'll start the next one by just getting everything on it and just basically wrap up the whole series of this restoration thank you guys for the sport hope you enjoy it yeah we're gonna throw these wheels on real quick give it a look let us know what you think well there's kind of what she's gonna look like the wheels look really good with the paint color i think I need to cut that pole out so it, you can actually see the entire truck Came together pretty good. You guys not have seen this, but did do some bed coating inside the bed here, having in the actual floor. For how rough these fender wells were, they're looking pretty dang good. They were pretty beat up. But yeah, see it's the gritty stuff, same as the undercoating that was on the bottom of the rockers there and along here. Yeah, guys, that's going to wrap up the video. Let us know what you guys think, and make sure to subscribe, comment, share, do whatever. And until next time, thanks for watching. <laughs>